We had one mission for this video, and that was to catch a couple of carp and make them taste good. So we took off and started to do a little bit of fishing, but we did have some adversity. We got stuck in the mud. We lost our minds every once in a while. It started to rain, and we only had one jacket between all of us. You fit perfectly. That's because you're sticking it out into the rain, crazy. But there was one triumph of finding a method feeder that I had lost last week. The lake dropped about 10 feet, so there were new treasures to be had, and there was much rejoicing. However, the small victories were enveloped by the rage of the storm. The sea was angry that day, my friends. It's a little brutal out here. It's raining a little bit. And the fish aren't biting, which is the worst part. We just wanted one fish today. Just so we decided to cut our losses and try again a different day. However, I made one mistake. On the walk out, what do you never do? You never look back. I looked back and what did I see? I saw carp rising out in the distance. Which meant that now I had located them, I had to try after them. The only problem was that we were all out of bait. We had used all of our bait except for a little bit of corn. So there was no bread jello mix that we could use to get them to come closer. And so it was a long shot. And like most long shots, got nothing. Time to go. Well, kind of a good thing that got out of the weather when we did. It is pouring now, which is awesome. We need it. That lake is so dry. Fill her up. Keep coming. Anybody want to get outside right now? Yeah! We weren't going to give up that easily. Day two, we are back. We are going to make a carp taste good. We made up our secret publicly available bait and tried again. And failed again. Making it tough. Also, Riley just cut himself, I think, with a piece of glass. We're going to get out of here. Back for day three. And after much adversity comes the spoils. Found a new hat. Hey, <laughs> what do you think about that? Mason might have taken off all his clothes. There's my boys. They only have one outfit combined, so they gotta pick which ones they want. After being denied on three separate tries and mocked by this dead fish on the beach, no eyeballs. we finally had our first bite. But we still have to get to the cooking part of this video, so we gotta hurry this up a little bit. White whale! Step one complete. That took a while. That was rough. He's not a trash fish. He's exotic. Now, we've just gotta dispatch him. So this is what we've learned cleaning a few of these fish over the last few weeks trying to get this video ready. You don't need to scale them. Scaling them really doesn't help. As long as you cut along the backbone, you don't really need to cut through scales anyways. So why do it? We also found that if you try to fillet the skin off after you have filleted it, that it is just super tough. You can get the scales off, but the skin is still there and it's really thick and rough and just super annoying to try to get off. So Pappy, you went to survival, taught me that if you start your fillet, just cut all the around the outside and then peel back with a pair of pliers, that it gets all of that scale and skin off. Remember to give back to the community and feed those catfish. The next problem we run into is getting all the dang bones out of it. There are so many bones in carp. We've got two sets of Y bones that come along with the fillets, and they lay kind of funny. So it's taken a lot of practice, but we're getting a lot better at getting all the meat off those bones. So you lightly slice right along the ligaments, and then you turn your blade flat to cut along those Y bones. So you have the Y sticking up and the other part of the Y laying flat. Now we still have the other side of those Y bones, so we have to slice off this big old chunk of meat here and it contains all of the bones. We then want to get as much of the blood out as possible. So first thing we do is we take out all of that red meat. All of that meat with a little bit of red tint, get rid of it. Then we're gonna soak everything in salt water overnight. And then I change the water out, usually that night late and then the next day as well. And you can see how much blood actually comes out of that meat and just becomes whiter and whiter until it tastes better and better. Like 
like that, right? Get all the slime off it, everything. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, a little egg wash, throw it into a nice little Louisiana fish fry batter, and then fry it up at a 375. Don't forget the cooling rack, because you don't want it soggy. Take it down. Good. Now you gonna sell a big box of grease. It he tastes like a fish stick. Mm. Kind of good. And take a small bite, okay? And look Got at the camera. It, yeah. Tastes like chicken nuggets. Tastes like. Need a little hot sauce, but it's kind of good though. Just a little bite. A little bite for you. Chicken nuggets. Yummy or yucky? Hey, yummy. We're raising up the younger generation right, babe. Harper was very impressed with the carp. Carp filet. Gotta be kidding me. First one I get, bone. I got all the bones. Like it. Like the video. We did it. We accomplished our mission. We caught a carp. We made it taste good. And now we are sharing our spoils with all of our friends. We are teaching everybody yeah, how to right. fish you... for carp. If you want to go trashing with you into survival, just subscribe and send us a message. We'll see if we can make it happen. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. <laughs>